Notice that a lot of what we've been talking about Facebook has been a lot of in theory. We didn't actually post anything. I, I said check out Canvas, check out Note to try it yourself. Because again, these classes really are about teaching mechanically how the system works, how it works, the, the why or specifically what you need to do. That's harder to teach. Honestly, I really have to say anticlimactically. That's why we get hired. That's why my company gets hired, to talk one-on-one -on -one with people to figure out what you need specifically. So I can't talk specifically for the whole class. But in general, I'm saying try these one-on-one -on -one things. Try these questions and chats. Try different pictures. Try videos. You can also go off and check these industry blogs. I don't recall if I've mentioned this one before. Social mediaexaminer.com examiner.com socialmediaexaminer.com have I mentioned it before in this class? I teach too many classes, they kind of mix together. But socialmediaexaminer.com is one of many industry blogs. This one is focused on social media. Here's a free ebook which tells you the state of the social media industry and then articles upon articles about Video blogging, how to create consistent YouTube content. All of this for free. Three ways to find prospects using Twitter. Well, if it's Twitter prospects, I might craft it to Facebook as well. Three creative ways to use live video for business. Now, I didn't look at this before I mentioned it today. So let's see what it does say here. It says, create the Black Friday feeling every day. So here, if you've got sales going on, do videos about, look at what we've got for sale, and come and buy, and so forth. We've got turn product demos into workshops and surprise launches. So you've got a product to sell. Why not turn on your live camera to it and talk about your product and how great it is, and in an easy way, and remind them, don't forget to click on the homepage to buy. We've also got turn workplace into soap operas and showrooms. Now, that's like making your own, like, you know, real housewives of the kitchen or something. But that's a lot more effort. Ideas for live video. And you've got search on the side over here. Categories. Search Facebook. And you'll see all of the articles about Facebook. Five new Facebook live video features published last year. Advanced Facebook page insights. How to use Facebook Insights to improve your engagement. So again, ideas of what to share, when to share, and all of that. I can't quite teach that. Educate yourself with these various blogs and apply these ideas and see what works by checking your insights. So questions on that? The cliffhanger right below, the, right before the break was I was saying the tragedy of Facebook and how to deal with it. The tragedy is that no one sees your stuff. <laughs> Glibly. But even if you have 500 followers, a, on, a, on Facebook, a follower basically is a like to your page. You know how people can... Uh, like your individual posts, yes, but people can like the whole page. Traditionally, that like was like a follow, and if someone follows you on Twitter, that means they want to pay attention to everything you tweet. If on Google+, Plus someone likes you or follows you on Google+, Plus, they want to pay attention to everything you post. And that used to be the way also on Facebook. If someone gave you a like, that means they want to see your latest posts on their timeline, on their home page. No more. Facebook has actively changed it. That even though you got 20 likes, that does not mean that those 20 people will see your stuff. Facebook is doing that because Facebook believes, according to the company line, the party line, they believe that people want to see stuff from people. But I'm a business. I want my business stuff to be seen by people. Facebook says, people want to see stuff from people. That's the great tragedy. Even if you have 500 likes, that doesn't mean you're going to reach those 500 people that have chosen to see your stuff, even though they've chosen the like. Some proprietary hidden algorithm, some trade secrets,
has the formula that if I've got 500 followers, maybe I will reach 100 of them. Maybe on Tuesday, I'm going to reach 200 of them. If I've got 10 followers, maybe there's some formula that I'll reach all 10 of them on a Saturday at 7 p.m., and most of the time I'm only reaching two. That's the annoying part. That's the tragedy of it. That's the thing that turned everyone on their heads and make, made, face, made people hate Facebook even more. But guess what? Facebook has a solution. This is their whole promotion system, their whole ad system, their whole boosting system, which is not free. If you want to reach more of an audience, even the audience that has claimed to already have liked you, you still need to deal with some promotion. You still need to pay to reach an audience. And this is what you might hear every once in a while. Facebook is going to charge us to use Facebook. Boycott Facebook. They've been doing that for years to businesses. Facebook is never going to charge regular people to use Facebook. But Facebook has been charging businesses to use Facebook for years. And on a sort of like moral level or personal level, I, I hate that, I don't want that, I don't want to get on Facebook. Great. There's Twitter, there's Instagram, there's Google+, there's Snapchat, there's etc., etc. And you may be a superstar on Instagram and never need Facebook. Great. But again, 1.8 billion users used by everyone of every demographic, of every interest. Everyone's giving away all their information that you can take advantage of. Again, I personally don't like Facebook, but for business, I love it. Because for our clients, we are constantly using the paid system. And you can pay as little as $1 to reach 100 times more the people that you could have. Now, 100 times means you had one like. 1 times 100 is 100 with $1. If you were paying $100, you could reach you know, 10,000 more people. If you were paying $1,000, you could reach a million people. And that a lot of people bristle at that. I want to pay real money to Facebook to reach digital people? Yes, that's, digi that's advertising in the real world. That's marketing and advertising for decades, for centuries, in the real world. That billboard on the five is not free. Someone paid to rent it for some amount of time. Those flyers that I print out and put on people's windshields were not free. Either someone was paid to design it, or to print it, or to hand it out. That person flipping that sign around on the corner is not free. Hopefully they're getting minimum wage at least. So, did, so marketing, advertising in the real world is not free, and we don't really complain about that. So you shouldn't really complain about marketing in the digital world. Now that there's so many people using these networks, and now that Facebook is actively not showing your pages to the people that really care, you have to play the game of starting to pay to reach more of an audience. At least it could be as little as one dollar. So let's look at that. I'm not going to have you buy anything right now, but let's look at it. Because that's the tragedy and the solution that you need to pay to really use Facebook. The big secret to using Facebook effectively. Use the Facebook ad system. Pay to boost your posts. Pay to promote your page. Invest in digital marketing. advertising. So if I set aside a budget once a month, I've got five dollars laying around to try to reach more people on Facebook. Maybe I won't buy that extra latte this week. And I spend it on Facebook marketing and I reached 20 people and I made two sales. Was that five dollars worth the latte or was it worth the two sales? Well, the more you pay, the more you reach. So what if I have $100 set aside? That $100 could reach, I don't know, 10,000 people, and I made 1,000 sales. At first, I'm thinking, I'm going to give Facebook $100? Yes, because I just made 50 sales, and I made you know, $7,000 in sales. I don't know. But real money to create digital ads 
to get real results. Real money for virtual ads to get real results. Whatever your result is. A sale, a phone call, a follow-up, someone filling out your form, someone donating to your nonprofit, anything you're trying to do online. With most of our clients, that's what we're doing all the time. You may have noticed when I looked at the insights, organic and paid. Often the organic results are better than the uh, often the paid results are better than the organic results. Organic means you didn't pay. Organic search, organic, organically found, you didn't pay. Notice this uh, this green line is much higher than the blue line. The green line is you reached this client has reached more people by paying to reach more people. The regular people, 915. This page has got like 5,000 likes, and only really 915 people saw anything meaningful for free. We paid some amount of money, and they reach, and that reached 24,000 compared to nine compared to 1,000. 24,000 compared to 1,000 with some amount of money paid. And that shows up for the video views too, the number of page likes. That one's not so separate, so different. But again, page likes don't matter like they used to, unfortunately. They really only matter those first 25 or so to claim your name. But then after that, you can get sales out of people that never liked your page. Who cares? It's a sale. They didn't like my page, but it was a sale. And even if I have all of those likes, so 227 likes in one month, that doesn't mean all 227 saw the, the posts or even bought the product. Yes? So, like page views, the reach was high, but the views didn't look like they were Yeah, that's, that's always, unfortunately, that's the problem with any sort of marketing. There's always going to be a higher reach compared to an actual view or engagement the impressions and the conversions. A lot of people see that ad on the five. A lot of people, especially rush hour. But very few people call that plumber. If those seven people call the plumber, even though a thousand people saw it today, that was still seven sales. So yes, page views are often a lot lower than reach. And I would love 239,000 sales. Those people, um, when they send out the ads, they How do they? They don't determine it. You determine it, and we'll see right now. We can target who will actually see. That's is one of the good things, at least about this. Putting the ad on the five, everyone sees it, meaning no one sees it because we're not targeting. In Facebook and Twitter and most other social networks, we can boost and po boost our posts and target this photo, this video will be seen by this age range in this location, you know, targeting. So we can decide who we're targeting so we're not wasting our money trying to catch a wide net. Let's check that out. So the way it works, there's several ways to do this. One is the advanced way. We'll look at it later, but the advanced way, don't go to it yet, but the advanced way is if you go to the triangle, you go to manage ads or create ads, that's going to be the way that it gives you so many possibilities to make ads. It's too complex for us at the moment, but do look at it on your own. The way I want to do it at this moment is if you scroll down, you have these other ones like promote, promote your shop, get more website visitors, share a page. These are other ways. These are very specific actions that you're going to pay for to try to get results. I'm going to try to get my shop now button to get more clicks. So if I pay five dollars, my shop button, my site, my page on, on Facebook here, will be promoted, will be shown to more people that might care enough to actually click buy. Facebook cannot guarantee that those 100 views will result in 100 sales. No company can guarantee that, real or virtual. But this is a numbers game. We saw the 200,000 reach 
and the 1,000 clicks. 1,000 sales is nothing to sneeze at. Share with friends. The other way to, to do these promotions is as I'm about to write something, as I'm about to create an event or do a note or whatever, I have boost post. I would recommend to do it this way as a beginner. We have all of these ways to do these promotions. Let's do the boost post first. Again, I'm not going to have you buy anything, but I'll show you the process. So boost post one post is shown to more people that are more likely to engage, to click, to like, to share, etc., to buy, promote various CTAs, call to actions, to accomplish something in general. Buy now, visit my site, like my page, manage, create ads, the power users screen to do much more. We'll do the boost post. That's the easiest one to wrap your mind around for a bit. And again, if you if you think, well, this is a scam, it is. Just like marketing in the real world. Marketing in the real world. If I've got a business on Main Street, a restaurant on Main Street, I have the options of standing outside my business and giving free samples, having someone flip that sign around. Those are the free things possibly. You know, I'm going to get one of my unpaid kids to go flip that sign around. You know, family business. Um, but perhaps I'm going to reach more of an audience if I put an ad in the Union Tribune, not free. Perhaps I'm going to get better results if I put an ad on 91X, not free. Perhaps I'm going to get a more sales if I print out flyers on yellow paper and put them on people's windshields, not free. So in the real world, we need to pay for marketing, advertising, digital world too. So we should put aside our preconceived notion as soon as possible that this is a scam on Facebook because it works. All of these clients I can show you, it always works to reach more people and get more results when paying. The ultimate proof is when I go to the client and look at their cash register and saw that they made more sales this week when we ran an ad that week. That's the ultimate proof of it working. Insights is another way of showing that because it's more, more results. Quick, uh, question. Well, question. Basically answer that from ads that you actually saw conversion of people mm -hmm actually buying the Definitely. The, you know, when we were first hired by one of these restaurants, they were like, wow, we sold a lot of whatever this week. And we said, yeah, this week we published this ad. We have this budget and we published an ad. So well, that's great. Keep doing it. So we keep doing it and we'll see how easy it is here. So um, boosting post is that I'm going to, it's still up to you. What are you going to boost? What are you going to put in people's faces more directly? If I, if I write something like, buy our cupcake, even if I'm spending $100, who's going to want to click or engage on that? If I put, buy our cupcake, it's healthy uh, and low cost, and then put a picture of it, or put a link to it, or do something still that you need to work at to entice a result, a person paid $5,000 to run their billboard on the five for a year, or whatever. But it's an ugly photo, or it's the text doesn't make sense. They wasted $5,000. So here, it's still up to you to create something interesting, funny, or something. What's that? It's gluten-free. It's gluten-free. Get all the buzzwords. Gluten-free fair. And a photo, and a smiley, and all of that. So then... I go through the process of boosting. I recommend first publish the post, then boost. Because here it's sort of like a house of cards. I'm about to write this post. It's not published yet. It's not set in stone yet. And if I go through the boost screen and something happens and everything crashes, like this maybe, 
I might lose. I might lose what I was starting to write. So I recommend first publish. That way it's on my page. It exists. And then I'll go through boost. So post something. Video, link, text, note, coupon, event, something. Post something first. When you say video, you're talking more of your own original video as opposed to the else's. Yes, you want to focus always mostly on your own original content rather than someone else because you're just giving someone else free publicity. Mm -hmm. And go back and boost and boost. Set a budget. Set a demo, a demographic. Set a time frame. Watch the results. Or check the insights. And then um, shape future activity based on insights. I may have paid a lot of money on a particular picture that I shared with a particular link and it didn't quite work, but I used the same money to pay for a different kind of boost and that one worked a little better. Maybe the one that worked a little better is the one I should try again next time with a different kind of a budget. Here is also Some other things. As the first few boosts, try a wider demographic. Maybe early on I don't want to be very specific because I don't know how specific to be yet. I think my product is gonna re is gonna be a really big hit with 20-year-olds, and it, it turned out it was actually more in 40-year-olds that like my product. So in the beginning, perhaps be rather wide in your demographics, not targeting too directly a city or an age and such. Be a little bit wider. Definitely then, here, shape future activity, future posts based on insights. Then narrow the demo based on success. Or the opposite. If I was too narrow early on, I'm not getting much results, whatever you call success for your business, maybe I need to go wider. I had five interests. Maybe it was too, too dispersed. Maybe I need to change it to two interests. Maybe I had the age range 20 to 50 year olds. Okay, maybe I should have focused between 40 and 60 year olds. Length of time is based on your budget, so let's let's check how this works. I've got something that I want to boost, something to promote. Click boost post. This is going to show up more on the people that have followed me already, liked me, and to brand new people that I don't know. <clears throat> It'll look something like that on mobile, something like that on a regular computer. I have audiences people you choose through targeting. I already have a few audiences set up here. Techie people, baked goods fans. So I have some audiences set up. I could create a new audience. Name. No one sees this except yourself or who you delineate, so you can call these things whatever you want. Um, wealthy baked goods aficionados. aficionados. So um, all genders, everyone's gonna like my baked goods, but I'm gonna go with those that have a little bit more income, so maybe retirees and up. 
everyone in California, specifically La Jolla. Twenty-five mile radius. Now that's going off to the not as wealthy. So I'm down to ten. So I'm targeting this area. Oops. And then targeting. Include people who match at least one of the following. Okay, so then here, people that are interested in <coughs> education, home, etc. I can start typing things like Food Network. People that have liked Food Network, that's an interest. It's going to reach some amount of people. People that liked, um, let's see, fancy ingredients. Is that an option? Organic. Ingredients, natural and organics. Wealth. You have an interest in wealth. So I've got some targeting. Save that. So this ad is going to be targeted to my wealthy baked good aficionados in these targets. Only one at a time. Budget. It's suggesting to me at the moment $20. $20 one time that will run for my time period. You have options here. $5. Notice also what is changing. With $5, you can reach about 38 to 100 people. That's great. I have zero likes at the moment. 38 people will at least see this. Does not mean 38 sales, but at least 38 people could see this. If I even get five sales out of $5 and I'm targeting the wealthy set, that could be a very big return on investment. Well, it's suggesting 150. I could go from 330 to 870 out of a possible 1400. Now, I did say a dollar. It's not listed here. Choose your own. One dollar. Even with one dollar, I can reach about 21 to 57 people. My ad will run and we be promoted and be shown to more people for one day at the right time that Facebook will determine based on your criteria to the right people. That one dollar could then result in one sale. And that if that was a sale of a $40 cupcake, a win. You know, it's got it's gold plated, it's got truffle oil and all that good stuff. Well I, I would like that to run for 14 days. You need at least one dollar per day. So if I put $14 to that's one dollar per day for two weeks, my ad will be shown to the right people for two weeks about 74 to 190 people. I would love to reach the 1400, but again, this is still very good. These these numbers down here, a couple dozen, a couple hundred, that's still a good amount of people for such a low budget. In the real world, you're not going to get a billboard on any street for $14, especially a billboard shown specifically to those that really need a plumber. And then, of course, we have the complete opposite. Choose your own $1,234.55, 56 cents. Sure, Facebook will take any amount of money you want to give it and run it for just about any amount of time. It's still up to you to have a good ad. This is a terrible ad here. I'm not really enticing anyone to anything. But they'll take $1,000, no problem. Um, the problem is that once a post has been boosted, the same one cannot be boosted again. You need another post. So you can't reuse the same one over and over. If you're going to do that, then that you're going to do it multiple times, you're going to need to put different posts multiple times. So I would recommend 
uh, for the first time, I would recommend a seven day, seven dollars, just to see how it goes. Six day, seven days may be too long. You're spending money that is not working. One day is a little too short. You can put um, three days if you pick the calendar, but seven days, seven dollars, see how it goes. Check your insights and see, well, let me try different amounts of money, different amounts of time, different posts. But you need a different post every time you do a boost. Yes? Oh, you are? Yeah. What kind of content is in the post? Um, Text or video or...? It's a... Uh, you know, when you follow text, like, not when you tweet, it says, this is been your best things may be changing so yeah. I may be wrong on that okay you could give that a try you could try to reboost the same the same one although if it didn't quite work that well the first time it might be a waste of money to try it again so it's, right. you're getting some insight that says it seems to be popular so Facebook says okay great let's run it again maybe change the text or something a bit so here is, is what I'm saying about try casting a bit of a wider net early on because you don't know what's going to work. Try to run it seven days or so. Seven day run time frame. Start off seven days. That's a whole week, so then you'll get your data. It was really popular on that Saturday, not so popular on that Wednesday. That's giving me the insight. Okay, I'm going to try to boost a post for three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, $10 with this demographic. I've already got a credit card set up, so I can simply click boost and it'll go, but there will be a requirement for you to set up a credit card or PayPal or debit card or whatever. I would recommend a credit card just in case there are any overages. Unfortunately, I do have to say, me and many of my colleagues have had plenty of trouble with this whole ad system that I thought I was spending $10 and I ended up getting charged $12. And sometimes it's been worse. So I would recommend using a credit card. That way you can your credit card company can help you dispute that charge. But besides that, this ad system on Facebook works very well. And again, it's so convenient that their ad system works way better than their free system. Luckily, Twitter isn't like that yet. Luckily, Pinterest isn't like that yet. Facebook really is the only one that you really need to use it paid. The freeways that we used to use three years ago, they, they don't work. Facebook has actively changed that. They can do it. They're the 800-pound gorilla. Yes? There's going to be settings. It might appear right there right away, or you can go to settings somewhere. Um, and cancel that. It may be over on, where did I see it? I thought I saw it under promote, manage, somewhere here. Probably under manage ads. I don't think it'll even let you until you add your card. So it will, it should force you at some point somewhere to, to add the card. Under manage uh, ads, there's also a part here about your credit limit. You've almost reached your spending limit, so I've set a limit here. But as a beginner, the, the boosting posts or these easily made ones like promote your shop now, get more sales for $5. There should be a little asterisk there, not guarantee of sales, because it's guiding people to your site. It's still up to you to have a good product that people want to buy. Promote shop now is going to be a different kind of boosting. You're going to need to, you know, write something or pick something regarding the the ads and all of that, and then pay and run it for some amount of time. Here it's suggesting you need a photo for this kind of ad, and it should be this size. So it does guide you to some degree. I say that they'll gladly take your money, but they will guide you to some degree. There is the help center that I would recommend looking into. And this is what I want you to think about for the next week. I'm not actually going to promote anything or have you do anything now. You may still think, I don't want to do this. I want to focus on something else. Twitter, Instagram, something. It may work. Great. Try it. But I do recommend to think about even a $1 budget. You can probably find a dollar 
on your, you know, in the cup holder of your car right now and start using it in Facebook. We're obviously running way out of time. I didn't notice the time. Uh, I can't take that many questions, but general questions on what we talked about today, then we're going to wrap it up with a volada. So any questions? Okay, so try that out on your, on your own. Check the help. The big secret really is Facebook ads. Check it out on your own. Next time when we come back, it'll be day one of part two. We need to re-enroll. We have to enroll in person. Let people know that didn't take part one. They can still come to part two. There's no prerequisite. We're going to start with uh, Pinterest, day one. Day two will be Instagram, then YouTube for two days, starting next week. So I'll see you then. Can you put the notes up?